Hi, and welcome to the video for Unit 6, uh, Day 1, Lesson 1 of Week 4. Uh, we are going to look into employment. A little FYI to start off the day. In the summer of 1978, 60% of teens were working or looking for work. And last summer, just 35% were. Are kids getting lazier? Well, the share of NEETs, young people who are neither in education, employment, or training, has been extraordinarily steady. In fact, it has not budged more than 0.1 percentage points since the late 1990s. Just 7% of American teens are NEETs, which is lower than France, and about the same as the mean of all advanced economies in the OECD, which is the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. That's a group of 34 member countries that discuss and develop economic and social policy. The OECD members are democratic countries. They support free market economies. And the supposed laziness of American teenagers is unchanging and literally at Teens are not spending more time on the couch. They are spending more time in the classroom. Education is to blame rather than indolence. Teens are remaining in high school longer, going to college more often, and taking more summer classes. The percent of recent high school graduates enrolled in college, both two-year and four-year, has grown by 25 percentage points. And that is almost exactly the decline in teenage labor force participation rate. With tougher high school requirements and greater pressure to go to college, summer classes are the new summer job. The percent of 16 to 19 year olds enrolled in summer school has tripled in the last 20 years, according to the <clears throat> Bureau of Labor Statistics. Bloomberg finds that the percentage of high school grads completing at least four years of English, three of science, math, and social science, and two years of foreign language has sextupled since the early 1980s. Other reasons why teens work less today are the rise of immigration, older Americans staying in the workforce, and the decline of federally funded summer jobs, as well as the rise of the minimum wage. Today's fun facts. All right, go back to our last notes page, which would have been October 1st or 2nd. Um, 1 1 Business Organization Day 2, and write a question in the uh, column right here. You are welcome to use my question, which is what is the first step in a ratio problem? And that is, I add the parts together to get a total number of parts of the ratio. And then once you do get a question in there using this one or your own, circle 24 please, and hopefully your 10 is already circled. Remember, you can stop this video at any time and then restart it. Tile the next page of your notebooks uh, six one looking for employment. This is day one. Uh, it's going to be the 6th or the 7th of October, depending on whether you're a Tuesday or a Wednesday cohort. The learning target is I'm going to understand how to compute periodic salary based on annual contract salary, and I'll be able to interpret abbreviation and classified ads. Remember, you can stop this video, get your notes together, and then hit play. I want you to read from the top of page 288 in the textbook through page 291 and define these four words, employment agency, form W-4, resume, and benefits. You can find the definition of those words in the actual reading. They actually highlight those words while they're explaining what they mean to you. Here is the first page of the reading, or the first top of the first page of the reading. About 70% of the time, your wake during your lifetime is spent at work. goes on. Remember, you can stop this video at any time, read what you need to read, and then go on. Here is the bottom half of the first page of the reading. Top of the next page. Remember, you can stop at any time. Here is the page that includes the definitions that I mentioned earlier. W-4, benefits, resume. And here is the textbook copy of example one, which we're going to talk about here next. How do people in different stages of their careers find employment? When I talked about this with my seniors over the years, I asked who's working and over half of the class always answers yes. 
many different ways to find jobs through agencies, through friends, online. Um, seems like they're inventing new ways. Here is example one, which is on page 291 of our textbook. It says, Julianne found a job listed in the classified ads that pays a yearly salary of 41 k What is the weekly salary based on the annual salary? Well, we have to know that K stands for 1,000. So we would do 41 times 1,000 to figure out what her actual salary is, and it's $41,000. And we would need to know that there are 52 weeks in a year. So, <clears throat> we take 41,000 and we divide by 52. And when you plug that into your calculator or your Desmos tab, you get 788.46. $788.46 a week. Get that down in your journals and then uh, proceed uh, start your video again. Here's example two. It says Dylan took a job through an employment agency and the job pays $395 per week. Dylan must pay a fee to the employment agency. The fee is 20% of his first four weeks pay. How much money must he pay the agency? So we take his weekly amount and we multiply it by four. 395 times four equals $1,580. Now we have to figure out 20%. Remember, going from percent to a decimal, we divide by 100, so 20% equals 0.2. Or think about how you write down 20 cents and change. You would write 0 0.20. And we multiply that times 1580. And 20% of 1580 is exactly $316. That is the answer for two in a way you get it done. Write that down in your journals. When you're done getting in your journals, start your video again. All right, go back and underline important passages in your notebook for today. When you're done with that, please circle the 10 in your column right there. <clears throat> Here is our work. It's page 294, application problems two through six. There is a assignment in our Canvas module for this unit right after this video where you can click on it and it will give you a, a Google form that you can fill in on your device, whether it's a computer or a tablet or whatever. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can rewind, restart, rewatch any part of it. Thanks again.